Welcome to one of the most exciting weekends of the entire year. It's November 2nd, Friday, finally November. And I just made it up to our lease up north in Isabella County. And I'm pumped to say the least. I'm just looking for a really good box, something that'll get my heart pumping when he comes in. So we're gonna get up in the stand. I also have two doe tags. So this stand we're sitting in tonight is kind of a doe spot. So maybe I'll shoot a doe tonight. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. weekend up north on the lease and feels pretty good um, this weekend should be awesome for this first afternoon sit I'm just sitting on the edge of a pasture um, but it kind of notches out right here there's a super low dip um, and it's just a kind of a good pinch point um, there's a really good scrape that's freshly torn up at like 15 yards right in front of me so we'll see um, might shoot a doe I'm not really sure but we can see a long way so we should definitely see a lot of deer um, it's just a matter of if they'll, if they'll get close or not but we'll see
So at this point, I'm pretty itching to kill something. <laughs> so I might uh, might just have to shoot a doe if it walks by. Um, this spot's pretty good. It's uh, right on the edge of a pasture and uh, kind of transition from bedding to big open woods. We're sitting right on the edge of it. So a couple trails coming through here. And uh, I don't know, hopefully we see some deer. We should.
pretty long season so far, and we're right in the heat of it. Um, hopefully we can catch a break soon. I haven't had a shooter in range yet um, between the farm, or the lease up north in Isabella, and then the farm down in Lansing. So, high hopes, high energy, high positiveness. Keep on cranking. Um, it's November 10th, prime of the rut. Sitting in a cool spot, actually, where I sat this morning. Um, I saw a 10 point, probably 50 yards from this stand, because uh, I can see it from the other stand pretty good, but it was 50 yards from this stand. Um, so, right at first daylight, but we'll see. Everything kind of connects right here. It's a great pinch point. Um, you can see it quite a bit too, so we should see something. this buck on trail camera I saw him actually like 400 yards this way holding out chickens up <laughs> it's a three and a half year old buck which is my target I want to shoot I want to shoot three and a half year old deer in Michigan it's just a good number that holding out chickens up <laughs> he's um I don't even know what he is. He's wide, but all of his tines are super short. He's just a cool, really old buck. 
man. Oh man, I'm shaking. <laughs> the shop might have been a little far back. I um, I only had one little window to shoot through, and uh, but he should be dead. And I am shaking. I don't think I've ever seen such a weird buck. Well, it's November 11th and just filled my first Michigan buck tag. It's been quite a long season so far. Um, shot this guy at 10 o'clock this morning and hit a little far back, like I said, and we ended up tracking him about maybe 200 yards. It's a liver shot, I'm guessing. So. Let him lay all day, and it was definitely the smart thing to do because he laid down like four different times. But yeah, it's just a gnarly buck. <laughs> Sweet.